What's up everyone? Yeah, it's hella raining out here and I know you guys haven't heard from me for a while, but I just stopped by the dumpster and there's a bunch of stuff in here that looks like it's somebody's personal stuff because I doubt it came from the store. So there's some like Christmas wreath things and some bowls. There is so much stuff in here. I think these wreath boxes came from Joann's. These other storage boxes probably did too. I don't know, there's a few things in here that look like they didn't come from Joann's, but let me collect the rest of it. I'm soaking wet, you guys, but my car is full. There was a bunch of Legos in there and just in general, a lot of good stuff. Good. You guys, there are patterns in here and a whole bunch of stuff. So it looks like I'm gonna be jumping in. Okay, you guys, I am soaking wet, literally soaked, but my car is full. I found a wreath, a, um, let me turn you around, wreath that was in there. I found this whole bag full of patterns. There's a bunch of patterns in here and yeah. So there was that, that was really heavy. And then back by the other dumpster, there was these um, like down blankets that I guess somebody just threw their stuff out cause those were there laying just on the floor. Hey guys, what's up? So it is the next day and I did not finish the video from uh, the first half because it was just pouring rain and it poured all night. So now it's been clear today and I have all this stuff brought out and I wanted to kind of show you guys what I got. And then after that, we are going to cut to today where I went to the bins and you're gonna see the state of what's going on due to the coronavirus and all of that stuff, uh, what they're doing at the bins. So let's take a look at what I got from yesterday's dumpster dive. Okay guys, we are back and ready to go through the haul, but really quickly, let me just say sorry it's taken so long to get you guys a new video. I have been extremely busy. Um, I got moved into my house, got my studio set up. I've been working on new projects with that Cricut maker that I found and things are just kind of moving right along. And when I tend to get into that creative mode, I kind of tend to just like zone out but I really do intend to bring you guys more dumpster diving videos um, and really creative videos like how to's and DIY's, things that I'm doing with my Cricut, new ideas. So stay tuned. I promise I'll be trying to get you guys a video at least once a week. I am also working a part-time job right now, so it's making it difficult to kind of get everything done, but I'm doing my best to keep it going. So let's see what I got. So there was a bunch of dance costumes. This one, I only found one, but these are all super cute and they probably were twins because there's duplicates of everything. <clears throat> so we've got these two little fringy ones and then these kind of cute dresses and these two little sparkly white ones. And then there's two cheerleader ones that are down here that were you know, complete, whoops, complete outfits. So we've got a top there and another skirt here. And then we have all of these girls Legos, which I don't want to open the bags because I think that they are sorted. Oh, there we go. They are sorted into, um, you know, whatever set they are because I noticed that some of them had books. Whoops. So I think I'm probably going to send these to my granddaughter. See, like this one has the book and these ones are all sorted out in Ziploc bags. So I find it very odd to see things like this. Like obviously somebody cared enough. They sorted them out by each color in the Ziploc bags and they kept the little booklets, but yet now the stuff was in the trash. So, and you know, Legos are not cheap. Like these are the Lego friends. Let's see what set this is. I don't know. It doesn't look like one of the you know, Disney or Barbie ones, but still, I'm sure it costs a lot of money. And then over here, I found three wreath boxes and one Christmas light storage box. And 
these probably did not come from the Joann's like I thought because this one you know you can tell the labels worn and it has lights written on it and actually I think this is Sterilite so I, I think this is probably like Target or Walmart so I think this is just somebody's personal trash that they just went and dumped in the dumpster these two Halloween decorations are super awesome because I don't have any Halloween decorations and Halloween is like one of my favorite times to decorate so these take like little tea light candles and and it flickers through the little windows so those are super fun i'm excited about that down comforters that i found they look like they just came from the dry cleaners and these were not were not even in the dumpster they were laying just like this on the side of the dumpster so unfortunately some of the water did go through and they're already dirty but i'll wash them up and then these chairs I actually found these the day before yesterday. I was driving home from work and there was like some little apartment complex and they were sitting right by the trash and I found the cushions inside the actual garbage can, but these are amazing and they swivel. They swivel, they have a round base and it swivels on this round base. And I'm thinking these are like from the forties. Look at this, you guys, they have the original label I haven't looked it up yet, but I am so super stoked to try and like refurnish these and then flip them because I think that once they're done in new upholstery, I could probably get like $400 for the set. I mean, I don't know. I'm estimating that. I could be wrong, but I love them. I might keep them. Who knows? These are all the patterns that I found in that bag, guys. There are so many. There's a lot of costume ones. Here's some Belle, Beauty and the Beast. I had no idea that they even threw patterns out. This is crazy. I mean, that's a lot of waste right there. Okay, so now let's flip over to today's video where I went to the bins earlier and we'll watch that and then I'll come back and I'll fill you guys in on the haul that I got from that and we'll talk about a couple more things. See you soon. So this is the current state at the Goodwill outlet. They have an area that's roped off and they are selling the entire bin for $15 and they are giving people 20 minutes to go through the bin and then they are moving the bin out to the general population, I guess you wanna call it area because they are trying to, I guess, control social distancing, but it's like, hmm. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so you guys saw what was happening at the bins. They are really trying to enforce social distancing and I feel like it's almost um, is counterintuitive or counterproductive. Maybe both of those words are correct words because if you have ever been to the bins or seen other videos, I think I may have a few videos posted about kind of the mayhem that goes on when you're at the bins. It's like the nature of the beast, right? The whole premise behind going to the bins is like everyone for themselves, right? And everyone goes there at their own risk. And they don't even have warning signs posted on the doors, okay? I mean, they bring these bins out, they make you wait until they have so many bins, you know, lined up in the rows, and then it's kind of like, go. And then everybody just scrambles, grabbing whatever they can as fast as they can. And you have to worry about maybe getting stabbed by sharp objects, broken glass, um, or somebody throwing something and knocking you in the head, I mean, or knocking you with their arms or whatever, because it's crowded, you know, there's a lot of people trying to dig through all of this stuff and people don't mind, you know, their space or uh, the space of others or have a concern for, you know, ever on a regular basis to distance themselves enough to give the person next to them enough space to kind of breathe. Um, so I don't know, I found it really weird that they were trying this process where they had these certain areas, you know, sectioned off um, they auctioned those bins and they allowed the people 20 minutes to go and dig through their stuff. I had to go grab a jacket. I was freezing and I think the camera was starting to shake. But anyways, so they were letting the people, you know, go through their bin that they won in the auction for like 20 minutes. And then they, after they were done, they would bring that bin out into the general population. And what was happening is the same thing as every other day there. I mean, granted, it was not as busy. There were hardly anybody there, but people kind of followed the same general principles that they usually do, which is 
go. You know, everybody, each man for himself, let's dig and get as much stuff as fast as we can. So then the employees were just like yelling at everyone, keep an arm's distance, only two people per table. Like if you don't listen, we're gonna throw you out. So, you know, I think maybe at this point they should probably just close because it just seems more stress on the employees and I guess I'm probably just not gonna be going there um, for a while. I guess we just need to have time, you know, for all this stuff to blow over. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys the stuff that I got. So I found this really cute shelf that has a drawer and it's missing one shelf, but I think I can probably fix that. And that is gonna be so cute in my little craft room to put little knickknacks on. I also picked up this little like art easel, which I like to use this for, um, like when I have dishes, like you can set a plate on there or when I do purses or wristlets, I can use it to um, set that on there for display to photograph. Or when I do craft shows, I found um, a bunch of patterns, a whole bunch of vintage patterns. So there's a bunch in here, some kids ones. These are all kind of mid fifties, sixties. A lot of cute stuff. This is like a 70s one. I always grab any kind of jumpsuit patterns. I love making jumpsuits. So there's those. And I found some flower bulbs. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna grow, but I got a fossil wallet, leather, super cute. Little Christmas ornament. It says baby's first Christmas. And I don't, know what it does it plugs in it probably rocks back and forth it looks like probably plays music some vintage colored pencils i found a jewelry display which is really cool since i just got it into uh, making paper jewelry. I have actually been working on some paper jewelry bracelets and I'll probably show you guys a video on that later in the week. I found a pair of Keds which are my size, so I will wash those up. And then I have a whole bag of clothes here. There's a Ben Davis vintage shirt, these super cool vintage shorts, which are for somebody super skinny. I found this vintage jumpsuit and I'm not sure if it was some kind of uniform for somebody. It says Dorothy George, it's got an American flag patch. So I, I don't know if it, you know, was Air Force or maybe she was just a parachuter. I don't know, but I gotta look this one up. It's got a vintage label. I thought it was super cool. I found this super cute yellow dress which I'm hoping fits me. It looks like it will. How cute would this be for summertime? Or you could actually do like um, a bell cosplay kind of Disney bound in this if you got a petticoat. Super cute. I found a Nightmare Before Christmas tote bag. Just a vintage 80s um, dress. It's lace and kind of like a crepe fabric. Super flowy. Um, and it has the totally 80s thing that, you know, the little clips in the back to bring it in and make it cuter um, and more form fitting. Here is a vintage slip that I found. And I found these two in the same bin. So I wouldn't doubt if you wore that underneath that dress, even though the dress already has a built in slip, but who knows. I also picked up this really cute bathing suit. I don't think that it's vintage, but it looks vintage. Um, the tag is Sporting Life. It doesn't look vintage, but it's super cute. There was this tote bag, medium brown bag, which is probably Macy's or Saks, Nordstrom's, I don't know, one of those department stores. It doesn't have the label on the inside, but um, this is like a plastic. So I thought that was pretty cool. So that was my haul from today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the great stuff that I brought home. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And hit that little bell if you wanna get notified when I upload a new video. I promise it won't be a month before I upload my next video. Um, stay tuned, there's more to come. Thanks again, bye.